everybody, it's your girl Diamonds to the Star 2 or and you are now watching Oh Really News. Mm. Oh. Huh? Oh really? I don't mean to get all dramatic. But I'm really not having a good day. I'm really not having a good day. I'm really not having a good day. Steve Jobs died and Apple went to shit. Now, this is an iPhone. A $200 device. Can you see it? Oh, really news is recorded on a MacBook. A $1,400 device. Add your taxes and your Apple Care, and the total comes to be about $1,800. In my adult life, I have individually spent about $3,500 on Apple products. This includes the purchases of iPods, music, software, and so forth. Now, I have never complained about Apple because I believe in the superiority of their products. Steve Jobs, he was a genius that did not believe in wasting time or money. Like myself, he was a visionary who wanted to change the world. Apple, the company, is worth about $500 a share. Now, that means their total market value, price of share times shares outstanding, is about $452 billion. Last year alone, they made $155 billion, that is. And in net income, they took home $42 billion. That means after they paid all their expenses, their salespeople, their tech people, for the supplies and the plastics and the, the gigabytes and the megabytes and the gigabytes, they took home $42 billion. Apple could get every American $5 million and still have taken home $40 billion last year. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Apple could have given you and me and every other American $5 million last year and still have taken home $40 billion. What's the point? Tell them why you're mad, son. Tell them why you're mad. Tell them why you're mad, son. I recently... I took a little trip to the Apple store with a friend of mine. He just got a new iPhone 5 and he's trying to, you know, get some compatibility thing between his current MacBook and his new iPod, phone, whatever. The salesperson had the nerve to tell him that the best way to fix his problem was to buy a new MacBook. I don't think so. Not in my America. Especially when minimum wage is $7.50 per hour. You mean to tell me the fitting head of my friend dropped a couple of X amount ever long ago is not worth anything? Even an old dirty Buick keeps some value. Oh, really? And the nerve of a company who only paid $14 billion in taxes last year. That is 25% of their taxable income and 8% of their overall income. Most Americans I know don't make 1% of that, but pays that some of the bitch Uncle Sam at least 45%? I'm pissed off! Where is Steve Jobs? Did he not leave an Apple visionary manual? If I were to live to be 90 years old, like I've so many times asked the good Lord, I would have to update my computer every five years and my iPhone every two years. This means in my lifetime, I would give Apple $25,000 for my computer equipment, $7,000 for my iPhone upgrades, and Lord knows how much I would pay for iPads and iPods and music and software, etc. My name is... Adeline, you can kiss my black behind. There are over 1 million people in America legally homeless and living in shelters. But Apple has $42 billion they could just throw away if they wanted to. That ain't right! 
There is no reason I pay $1,800 for a machine only to be told it's worth nothing a couple years later. That ain't right! My fellow Americans, we must no longer be slaves to the corporation. Raise your fists if you have student loans. Raise your fists if you have five-figure, six-figure debt. Raise your hand if you'd rather buy a house than give Apple $100,000 before you die! That ain't right. As long as Apple profits, there should be no poor people in America. We're coming to an age where every boy, girl, man, woman, and dog needs access to the internet. Lord knows I need my apple. But I refuse to be abused. If Apple gets taxed 8%, I want to get taxed 8%. If Apple expects a pound of flesh for their products and services, we need a real living wage here in America. What about the babies? They need they hooked on phonics on iTunes. Charging me $1,000 every three to five years when the income level for working class and middle class Americans is not significantly improved in decades is not the business. There's got to be a better way. Think about it, people.